So here's a picture of my grandfather, and over here is a sketch I just tried to do of that picture. You might notice that I don't exactly have the best talent for sketching. Yet despite that, I also drew the image on the right here using a technique which I'll explain. So take a reference image and convert it to black and white. Um, his coat's a little dark, um, so you wouldn't usually do this, but you could also up the brightness just so that the contrast on that is going to be a little bit better. But then uh, just go and print it. Great. So we want to divide this up into a grid. So it's kind of arbitrary, um, but I just like to do every centimeter, I guess. So I'm just marking those all off. And then also want to mark it this way as well. And then just uh, draw straight lines across like so. So now we have a grid and my lines aren't exactly perfectly straight, but hopefully that won't matter so much. Now where the drawing is going to go, I measure out a grid of dots all spaced two centimeters apart from each other. I'm using lightly tapped dots instead of lines because grid lines are a lot harder to erase later. At this point, I realize I made a mistake in the image I picked. Half his face takes up a full square, and that's too difficult for me. This picture's too big because his face is such a small portion of it, so that's not going to help us to draw. Okay, there I cropped it, and now this should be a lot easier. I redo the grid on the new image, and here I've decided to label all the squares with numbers and letters so it's easier to figure out which square is which, and then I tape that label to the picture so that it doesn't move. And now I begin drawing. The key is to think about where lines are starting and ending within a square, and not worrying about what those shapes actually are. Just look at each box individually. Think something like, this line starts about halfway through and curves a little bit to go to the corner of the right side. You're probably going to want to draw pretty lightly at first too, and make sure you don't have a terrible eraser. Some details can get pretty tricky, like the eyes, where tiny things make big differences. What you can do is subdivide even further by drawing a cross back in your source box and putting a light dot in the middle of the drawing's box to have further guideline references. Some details are kind of too tough for me though. Lalo's got some gray hair amidst the dark ones, and it's hard to represent that without his hair just looking thin. What I did do for the hair though, is I went and erased the initial outlines I made and replaced them all with lines that all went in the direction that his hair would really go. Eventually, when I got to shading in everything, that's when I pushed down my pencil a bit harder. At the end, I go and erase all the dots I can still see to get rid of the grid. So I think that's a pretty decent rendering here. I mean, it certainly beats my other attempt.